on signing HB 4145, commonly referred to as the Boyfriend Loophole Bill. It expands an existing law to prevent intimate partners from buying and keeping guns if they have domestic violence or stalking convictions. Before only married partners were prevented, Eileen Park sat down exclusively with the governor today and joins us now with what she had to say. Eileen? Jeff, the governor says she is proud that Oregon is the first state where a House and Senate passed gun control legislation since Florida's mass shooting. And you're about to hear why some believe it's a small but important step in saving lives. I knew in my heart. On November 10th, 2014, Madeleine Garcelon's daughter was murdered by her ex-husband. Shot her with a crossbow and seven times with a nine millimeter Glock plus P. An enraged Ian Martin Elias did this with their two daughters at the home. He killed his ex wife despite a restraining order and then later killed himself. He was abusive. He had made threats. She had a stalking order and he violated that order. And the day he was to go to court for that order was the day we buried my daughter. Although the closing of what lawmakers are calling the boyfriend loophole with House Bill 4145 wouldn't have affected Madeleine's daughter, she's telling her story to help people see why anyone with a history of domestic violence should not have guns. Nobody's trying to take your Second Amendment. Uh, the only person that would have to worry about this bill is if you're a crazy, abusive boyfriend. Today, I sat down with Governor Kate Brown to talk about the bill that was actually introduced before Florida's mass shooting. In Oregon alone, uh, since in the last two years, we've had 66 deaths due to domestic violence. Over half of these have been gun related. Absolutely unacceptable. Since Florida, Oregon has been leading the way in gun control. Now, other lawmakers around the country, even Republicans, are following suit. I intend to present a new law, perhaps in coordination with others that are working on it now, that will lead to the creation of gun violence restraining orders. For Madeleine Garcelon, there's nothing that can bring her daughter back. Here's Nicolette. So she's using her voice to speak for her. If it, these pictures don't convince somebody, this should. This is my daughter's death certificate. So not everyone supported this bill. The NRA, for example, testified against it. And many Republican lawmakers, including one Democratic senator, voted against it. Read exactly who the bill protects and why right now on coin.com. Jennifer. Yeah, some very emotional words from the mother there. Eileen, mm -hmm. thank you. And coming up next, a college baseball.